Hey, Most Amazing Top 10 family, I'm your host, Chad Rain, and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I personally love everything underwater. I think the ocean is one of the most fascinating places on the earth. There is so much life down there that we don't understand, and most of it looks alien. I really went deep, no pun intended, to find you some strange looking creatures for today's list of top 10 scary fish found in the deep. As always, I would love it if you could like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. And stick around for the whole list because I'm going to be doing some more pet shadows, which you guys love so much. Also, if you at home want some more Most Amazing Top 10 content, you can check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And we are starting to do Facebook exclusive content and checking it out can enter you in our contest. Every Friday in December, we're giving away a prize. The way you enter is by checking out the Facebook page, liking the page, liking and commenting on that week's Facebook exclusive video. This week, the video is Guess That YouTuber, and the prize is a most amazing t shirt signed by all the hosts and $200. That's an amazing prize. So go over to the Facebook page and check it out to get in. Also, if you're interested in grabbing merch, there's a link below. You can use the offer code MA10 for $5 off. I just want to do a shout out to the most amazing fans. I heard some of you guys were upset by some of the jokes I made and I just wanted to apologize. Sorry guys. Also guys, we are starting a new channel, Top 10 Central. Go check that out right now. There is so much more content over there. I know you guys love the content. And without taking any longer, let's get into this list. At number 10, we have the sarcastic French head. Okay, this sounds more like an insult than a fish, but I swear to God, it's a real thing. It almost looks like an eel and has a longer snake-like body and a large mouth. You can catch this thing swimming around 240 feet underwater. That's 73 meters for all our non-American viewers. Although this frightening sea serpent has a devilish appearance, it isn't big enough to swallow you whole. The entire thing clocks in around 25 centimeters, the equivalent to 10 inches. These things are extremely wily and they're able to hide inside small cracks and even abandoned shells. But don't take this defensive maneuver lightly. They will still come at you if given the chance. They are one of the more aggressive fish you can counter in the deep blue sea. If you get close to their home, you can trust that they will fly out and tried to snap at you. Also, they have a pretty strong defense against predators. Around their eyes are these hardened spines that will stab anything unlucky enough to get too close. This isn't a fish you're going to want to put in your home aquarium unless you want to see all the other fish get eaten. At number nine, we have the Japanese spider crab. If you put spider in the title of anything, I'm usually not interested. There hasn't been a situation where I'm looking to hang out with a bunch of spiders, but who knows what the future holds. On top of that, you might not know this, but crustaceans used to be considered insects and we were not supposed to eat them. It wasn't until high class hotels started serving them up as delicacies in the 60s that changed the culture. And the Japanese spider crab was definitely a culprit of why people thought these things were bugs. They have a set of long spiny legs and two pincers at the end of extended arms. They actually have the longest leg span of any anthropod. Not only that, but they can be around 19 kilograms or 42 pounds. That's a lot of crab. But if these things freak you out, don't worry. They're only found in Japan and hang out around 300 meters underwater. Also, I'm glad we changed our opinion on them because they are tasty. At number eight, we have the frilled shark. This creature literally looks like it was pulled out of the Jurassic period. Every picture of this animal makes it look like it's a thousand years old and maybe on the verge of death. Some people have nicknamed the frilled shark the living fossil. If just the sight of it makes you never want to go in the water again, you shouldn't be too afraid. These creatures are extremely rare. It's unknown how many are still in the wild, but researchers think it could be less than a thousand. They tend to stick around in warmer waters. They have been seen in waters around Japan and the Indian Ocean. Their body looks like a cross between an eel and a shark, like the two of them did that fusion thing from Dragon Ball Z. And these boys can go deep, which shouldn't be a surprise. The title of this video is Fish Found in the Deep, but they can be found as deep as 4,200 feet or 1,200 meters. So unless you're a technical diver who has multiple gas blends or rebreather and you're diving in the Indian Ocean, you shouldn't worry about seeing one of these guys. In fact, if you run into one of these guys, you should probably buy a lottery ticket. That's how rare it is. At number seven, we have the blobfish. Even if you don't know this guy by name, you know him by look. There have been countless memes of the blobfish. It kind of looks like a sad man covered in some sort of goo. Like if you took Bill Dotry from King of the Hill, melted him a little bit, and then put a slime coating over him. This guy hangs out around 1,200 meters or 3,900 feet. He's not particularly dangerous, but has been voted the ugliest animal of all time by the Ugly Animal Society, which
which is a strange thing. Kind of rude if you ask me. I'm sure if you dressed this guy up and he started hitting the gym and he got a new haircut, he would be a real looker. Also, the animal's so deep you can't even see him without a light source, so I don't think he really cares how he looks. At number six, we have the Pacific Black Dragon. We've got another eel-like deep sea creature. There's something about the cross between a fish and a snake that really rubs me the wrong way. And this guy has the look of something pulled right out of your nightmares. The Pacific Black Dragon can be found in the Pacific Ocean, no surprise, and hangs out at around 3,300 feet or 1,000 meters. This boy does not like sunlight. Sometimes it will venture a little closer to the surface at night, but he definitely likes it dark and cold, mainly for hunting. The Pacific Black Dragon has a little barbell antenna thing on the end of its chin. It can use this thing as a tool that will light up and basically lure fish closer to it. This way fish come to check it out, they get a false sense of security, and when they get too close, BAM! They get eaten by the black dragon, and it continues to hide in the shadows. At number five, we have the giant squid. When you hear about creatures like this, you wonder if the legends of sea monsters are real. The great kraken big enough to swallow a ship whole. Now the giant squid isn't that big. The largest one on record is around 43 feet, which is too small to take down a massive pirate ship. But since overfishing has become a thing, so maybe thousands of years ago, they were able to get that big. But leaving all all the myths aside, this creature is still massive. It hangs out at a maximum depth of 3,300 feet or 1,000 meters, and they are massive. They have tentacles with huge suckers on them. Each one of these suckers has enough power to rip your skin right off your body. At number four, we have the vampire squid. You call something the vampire squid, and you're gonna picture something swimming up next to you, wrapping its tentacles around you while it sucks out your life force slowly, draining every last ounce of blood while you struggle to breathe and live. The vampire squid gets its name from its dark red complexion and deep dark environment. It also has photophores at the end of each one of its tentacles. Photophores are bioluminescent body parts, so it has eight little light bulbs that it uses to make these eerie light shows. However, with everything we just covered about this guy, he is relatively harmless. He doesn't suck out your blood, he prefers marine snow, little debris floating down from the surface. You can also find him at 1,000 meters below the surface. At three, we have the oarfish. We're going back to the long snake-like fish because they give me the heebie-jeebies. The oarfish is no joke. Not only is this thing extremely rare, there wasn't even a living one caught on camera until 2001, but they can get huge. A full-grown oarfish can clock in around 600 pounds. That's so much fish. Teach a man to fish, feed him for a day. Give a man 600 pounds of fish, and I hope he has a chest freezer because there's going to be leftovers. Not only can this bad boy get heavy, it can stretch 36 feet. You could fit you and all your friends on this guy. And don't worry about it trying to eat you. It only eats plankton. And it's also a very deep boy, chilling at 900 meters or 3,000 feet. At number two, we have the goblin shark. Once again, the deep sea is combining things that should never be crossed up. It makes me think of a shark who got the green goblin serum in him and he's flying around on a deep sea glider throwing fish themed pumpkin bobs at crab traps. Can somebody out there draw that for me please? I really need to see that come to life. This shark is a creature of habit. His genetic design hasn't changed in 25 million years and his family tree stretches back 125 million years. When people say OG, oh, they're talking about this shark. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. He likes to hang out at around 1300 meters or 4300 feet. Goblin sharks get their name from their long goblin nose and jagged teeth. They have the ability to sense small electric fields to pick up on prey. And when they do find something to eat, they can shoot their jaw out like a bear trap. It sounds like something that you would see in a fever dream. And for the number one spot, we have the colossal squid. We had the giant squid on, and now it's time to up the ante. This is the real kingpin of the ocean deep. The colossal squid is the deepest of the deep boys on this list. It will swim down to 2200 meters or 7200 feet. I think if a human goes down that deep without some sort of submarine, we just implode or freeze to death. This guy is so big, if he's taken out of the water, he will weigh over 1000 pounds and stretches 16 meters or 50 feet long. And he doesn't even have suckers like other squid. It has hooks. That's right, along this beast's body, there's a bunch of long hooks that it uses to rip open its prey. For a long time, these things were thought to be just myths until a dead one washed up on a shore. Seeing one of those, even dead, will stop you going from any deep sea swim. 
All right, everyone, that is our list. And as promised, I'm going to be doing some more pet shout outs. Remember, if you want me to shout out your pet, you can message me on Instagram. How it works is Monday through Friday, I pick five pets each day from people that message that day. Every day it resets, so if you don't get picked one day, you can message me back on the next. This gives everyone a fair shot and lets me control my inbox, which is overflowing with messages from you guys, which I love because I love when the community gets involved. And without taking any longer, let's shout out some pets. First, we have Sophie's cats. We got Simon, Joey, Alex, and another Simon. Four cats, four friends, great buddies. Dusty sent in a picture of her three dogs. We have Ruby, Pearl, and Granite. I love this team of doggos. Next, we have Amy's whole team of pets. We have lizards, dogs, cats. This is like the Avengers of pets. Then we have the cats Lilo and Stitch. Great movie, even better cats. And finally, we have the cat Shadow. Very cool black and orange coloration. This little guy is a legend. All right, everyone, that is our list. Thank you all so much for tuning in. As always, I would love it if you could like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. Also, if you want some more Most Amazing Top 10 content, check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Remember, there's Facebook exclusive content and the contest going on right now. If you need some merch, there's a link below. You can use the offer code MA10 for just $5 off. And until next time, I've been Shader and I might stay out of the ocean for a little while.